What's going on family? We're back with another YouTube video. Hopping right into Photoshop today. I wanna teach y'all how to, like the easiest way I found to clean up the background. The easiest and the quickest way I found to clean up the background because a lot of people have trouble in Photoshop cleaning up the background. I remember this time where a renter from my studio came and was like, bro, can you cut this background? I don't know how to do this in Photoshop. And the rent, the owner and me like, man, I don't know. <laughs> but we gonna hop right into it. Um, I got a picture right on the screen of a client. As you see, like the backdrop he is pretty dirty. This is a raw photo. So the backdrop is pretty dirty. Um, so we're gonna hop right into it. The first thing I always do is duplicate my layer. And the method I'm gonna teach you is the surface blur method. So I duplicate my layer, then you wanna go up, right? You wanna go up to, let's see, I think it's filter, blur, surface blur. The surface blur is gonna run it. And if you look, what it does is kind of blurs the floor. And my MacBook is loading. So what this does is it blurs the whole entire picture. And as you see already, the floor is already blurred out. So you can, you know, bump it up as much as you want to, but I've kind of found um, my threshold mark to be at 75 for the radius and 25 for the threshold. You just want to blur it enough to where, you know, it's like the floor is, it looks clean. Um, so actually let's try to pump it up a little bit. 77 seems about right. 78 78 seems about right and then you're going to hit okay and that's going to do its thing it's going to progress and this method is really easy like it literally doesn't take a lot to do this method and i even have an action that would be available for download in the description for you guys to buy and use if you don't want to continue to follow these steps every single time if you don't want to click it and boom, the background is ready to go and be fixed. So once the surface blur comes, we're going to invert this because we don't want the um, blur to be on the client, of course. The thing you want to do is come in and you want to create a layer mask because we are basically trying to get the um, blur off of the client's body. So you create a layer mask and then you want to invert this layer mask which is Command I on the MacBook. And if you don't have a MacBook, um, you can hit inverse right here as well. So select an inverse, but it's Command I on the MacBook. Um, and once you get there, it's gonna take away everything. So this is with it inverted. This is without it inverted. I'm sorry, this is without it inverted. This is, this is without it inverted. This is with it inverted. And then what you're gonna do is, we only want, we'll take this and brush this in, as you see right here, and it'll be gone away, but it'll still be on the person. So what we wanna do is we want to do a selection around the person only. So we go to select, subject, and that's gonna select the person. But we want, it to select the background. So when we paint, we only paint with the side of the background. So what we're gonna do is go to select again, we're gonna invert that. And once we invert it, we're gonna click our black layer right here, take our paintbrush, and we're going to just paint the backdrop. Paint the backdrop, boom. Hit Command D to get rid of it, and there we go. A nice backdrop. And the good thing about this is you can go in here and make sure when you paint, you're using a white brush, but you can go in and use a black brush, right? Because as you see, it's kind of still blood on her hand. You go in with the black brush and you literally just paint over the area you don't want to be blurred. 
bone. So you got some hair particles and et cetera. So I have another picture, the client, boom, background. It's dirty, but this time we're gonna run my action. So my action is gonna do it all for you. And I will have these actions available, like I said, with the link in the description, but my background smooth action, you go it, select your surface blur. Mm, I think this should be good. So let's go to stick in 75. Boom, it's gonna do the thing for you. It selected the background already. We come right in, we click our brush, make sure we have a white brush. A white brush. Bag it out and just paint it. Boom. And you will see over here what you painted and what you didn't paint. So we come in, paint it, paint it, paint it, paint it, paint it. Make sure it's all painted. And I'm doing a sloppy job right now, but you guys get the point. Make sure it's all painted, deselect it, and boom. Fresh white background. And we can do one more image, duplicate this, run my action. We choose our radius. So like I said, I like to stay between 70, 75, no higher than 80 for real. Boom. Click our layer mask, make sure our brush is white. Come over. Opacity 100, flow 100, smooth and 10. And we come over and we just paint. And literally, the background is gone. And that's it. So that is the easiest way I found to clean up backgrounds in Photoshop. I know uh, studio photographers really be having some dirty backgrounds. So that is the easiest way. Make sure if you want to not waste any time and you want to cut down the time of your edits, go ahead and click the link in the description to purchase my background smoothie action and get smoothing. Let's make it happen. It's Jet and I'm out.